Hey there, everybody. Welcome to episode number 10. I hope that's what it is. So today I'm not going to teach you anything. I'm just going to ramble about my life. No, I don't even want to hear that. So let's just work on this comment section. We left it off. We left off with this. It looks absolutely, absolutely horrible. But at least we still sort of figure out figured out what was going on. So I looked at this just for a second. I cheated. And it turns out that this li right here is one post. So what we have to do is go li class equals and we'll name this comment box. So you can find this, I'll just start from the top so you can see where it's located, right down here. So once we have comment box, we can save it and upload it just so I can show you something. We're going to come back to styles.css and we are going to delete this alt and comment all we can leave but let's have some, some spacing at the bottom so we're going to change this to 25 pixels and then it, over here we're going to do comment box and we'll do padding I don't know 15 pixels margin bottom we'll do or let's go margin and we will do 0, 0, 10 pixels, and then 0. Alright, so then we also want a background color, and I'm going to do background, and the color I'm going to do is 282828. Save it, upload. Oh, let's also give it rounded corners. I love those. So let's grab this border radius and just slap that in here. Alright, save and upload that one more time. Refresh and let's hope, yes, there we go. Alright, so we have that. It's looking pretty good, pretty good. I'm not going to worry about the text at the moment. Let's, uh, let's fix this right here, this comment box. And what that is, is if you scroll way down, you can see text area. I'm not going to really, well, we can mess with it a bit, I guess. We're going to change this to about, let's try 75%. And remember the ID of comment. Let's try comment. Let's see if we can slap in that rounded radius, or rounded corners as well. Let's see what happens. Refresh. And the rounded corners didn't work, but the sizing is pretty good. Let's take a look here and see... Uh, I don't know why it's not working. Um, I'm not sure. We'll just leave it as that. Let's give it some margin on the top and bottom as well. So let's go margin. We'll go 10, 0, 10, 0. It's probably a short uh, shorthand for writing that, but I'll keep it simple. And <laughs> that didn't work either. All right, great. Lovely. We'll probably have to wrap that into its own div. So let's just erase this for now. And let's take a look at our code. And we want to, I don't care about this text right here, we don't need that. So let's find out where that's at. Okay, we don't need these tags right here. This is where it is, the allowed tags. We're going to delete that. Then also for leave a reply, that's h3. We're going to wrap that into a div. Div ID equals, I don't know, leave reply, we'll call it. All right. So cut that closing tag, slap it on the end here, and we will make a ID of leave reply. Leave reply, and we will go. Hmm, let's see, we might have to do padding 15, 0, 15, 0. Okay, so padding worked, worked just nicely. Let's quickly wrap this, um, this text area into div. We're going to div ID equals comment section or post section, let's call it, post box. Close that. All 
All right, so we have post box is the ID. We're going to, uh, and then we want to do what was what were we doing? Margin, and we'll go 10 pixels, 0, 10 pixels, 0. See what that looks like. All right, so that spaced it out quite well. All righty. This is looking pretty good for this page. Um, let's see, what is there left to do? We want to these four responses. Let's stylize that a little bit better, or give it some spacing at least. So above everything, it probably is. Um, it probably says something about responses. Hmm. Leave a reply. Where is that at? down above it so <laughs> I'm guessing this is it right here let's just check if this is an h3 you know what we could probably do is go to style to h3 and then we'll give it padding of 10 pixels 0 10 pixels and 0 and then that'll probably space out that leave reply on the bottom as well as this one so let's give it a refresh and that did space it out. And we can go back to this comments and this div around leave a reply, we can just totally delete that because it's a little bit sloppy and we don't need to use that at all. So let's also delete it right here. All right, save, upload, refresh. Okay, I like that better, so it's a, it's a cleaner style. All right, let's uh, inspect this element and we want to change that font um, let's see here in styles let's do comment box we'll do dot comment box p that should work let's just try font or what is it text color Oh no, it's just color. Stupid me. <clears throat> Let's try a yellow and see just to make sure that works. Refresh. And it does work. Okay, great. Great. Alright, so we're going to give it a gray, gray color, which is going to be this 8 that... Uh, no. Um, yeah, 8A. 8A is the color that we want to use. We're going to slap that for color. And let's make the let's save upload it. Great. All right. So let's see if we can have the icon so it's on the left and the text for it is going to be on the right. So let's take a look here. And let's see where is our comment box. All right. So avatar is right here. Comment. So we want to do an enter right here, and then right here as well. We're going to give this, uh, we're just going to put a closing div right here. <clears throat> and for this opening one, we're going to go div id equals comment text. All right. So let's quickly, quickly, we got one minute. Let's see if we can hurry up and do this. Let's uh, go to style, <clears throat> and we're going to do dot comment text with let's see if we can quickly grab a width is going to be let's see something like this 525 so with 525 pixels float right let's see if that works We need to also wrap around this avatar right here. Div ID is going, or class rather. Post avatar, we're going to call it. Delete or cut that, paste it at the end. And we also want to make this a uh, class. I believe you want IDs for elements that are going to be used one time, and classes are going to be things that are going to be re repeated. Uh, I might be wrong about that, but that's the way that I do that. So, oh, 
Maybe it'll work now. All right, sort of. Let's right. Let's uh do comment. Wait, what did we call it? Post avatar. Post avatar. Uh, we're running out of time. Let's do float left. Real quickly, let's see if that worked. And then I'm going to have to end it there. Refresh. And it didn't really work too well, but uh, we'll leave it at that. And we'll take it up from here next time. Thanks for watching, and see you later.